Why do you guys just disappear or ghost a girl when they're not interested anymore? Is it important to have a big breast or big butt? Can a guy and girl just be friends? What's good YouTube? Kyle back here again. Hopefully you guys did the last video. And today I'm back with a brand new motherfucking video. I wanted to film this with Nevena. Unfortunately, she is in the Dominican Republic tanning her way, just living her best life. So I got to do this solo. You guys definitely enjoyed that video. Girl answers questions guys are too afraid to ask. So this time we're, we're changing the roles. We're uh, switching it up a little bit. So today's video is gonna be a guy answers questions girls are too afraid to ask. I think it's more for human nature for us to be curious about the opposite sex. So I was like, why not? Let's just do it. You guys obviously gave some good receptions to that video, maybe because the venom was in it, but uh, I'm doing this one today. So I think it'll be pretty fun to get, provide my insight towards it. And uh, let's begin this video right now, all right? Let's get her going, baby. First question is, why are all men trash? Okay, I feel like, in my humble opinion, that girls usually gravitate towards assholes or guys or just dicks and just mean to them and then after they get hurt they're like oh my god men are all trash blah 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 but no in reality your selection of men are trash okay there's a lot of good boys or males or men whatever you want to call them that are, that are nice in the world they'll treat you right but you're just choosing the wrong ones you're choosing the, the bad boys i guess okay so Men are not all trash, you're just choosing the wrong ones and your selection of men are trash. That got me a little heated, but... Let's go to the next question, let's run it up, baby. How does it feel to be able to eat whatever you want and not put on weight? Um, I don't know where this misconception came from and that girls feel like males can eat whatever they want and they can't gain any weight. And honestly, it comes down to human physiology and genetics and your metabolism, or just people are just more conscious or conscientious of what they eat on a day-to-day -day basis, but Guys can get fat too, okay? I don't know where this misconception came from. That's completely false. It's fabricated, okay? So next question is, are guys worried about the size of the thing? Um, I feel like males are more worried or more concerned of the size of the thing that women actually show they are concerned of. Like, I think we worry about it more than females that worry about it. I feel like, yeah, obviously we do like think about it and concern about it because that's part of our manhood, but at the same time, it's like you dealt with the cards you're born with and you gotta do and make the most out of it and just maximize your, your potential pretty much. So like people always say, uh, I watch a lot of videos pertaining to this. The title's kind of weird, but I find it pretty interesting and pretty intriguing type videos. They captivate my attention a lot. So it, women, typically the majority of women just say it's about the motion of the ocean and not more so of the size. Like you have, you can have a big one, but like you don't know what to do with it, then obviously you're not gonna please the girl, right? So I feel like, yeah, we do worry about it, but at the end of the day, it's how you use it, okay? What is the most common thing women do that makes guys lose interest? I think this can relate to many, many guys. Many of my friends say the same thing, but uh, I think cleanliness, I'm not saying cleanliness is a bad trait to have. I don't mind it, honestly, but if, we're, if you're overly clingy, you just, non-stop texting your man or like texting the guy you're trying to get with then it gets annoying to the point where it just like push me away from from you and let's lose interest because like you just you're just too you know you just too you just giving yourself too easily i guess there's no like challenge to it there's no game to it i guess as stupid as that sounds you know so definitely cleanliness. I don't mind it though, but it just, it just comes to a point where it's the fine line of how much cleanliness there is, okay? Can a guy and girl just be friends? Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't see why they can't be. Like you guys, like for example, me and Violetta, like we have very good, like I think we have really, really good chemistry, but we're just friends, like we vibe pretty well. But I feel like if you hang out with them a lot and you text them a lot, you hit them up a lot, then yeah, over time you probably develop feelings, but me and Violetta, for in my case, me and Violetta don't really hang out too often, but when we hang out, we like we, we vibe. So we're, we're pretty good friends, I would say. I think we are. If you're, if you're watching this Violetta, we're good friends, we're homies, man, we're homies. Does intercourse on the first date mean she isn't girlfriend material? Uh, I think that's a yes and no type of answer. It depends on what you're trying to get at, but uh, I feel like, in my opinion, that intimate connection you guys have during intercourse or whatever or after, it just strengthens the relationship a bit more. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how I look at it. But it's a yes or no answer to me. It's kind of iffy, you know, very subjective at that point. 
why do you guys just disappear or ghost a girl when they're not interested anymore? Um, uh, sorry, I think I'm, a, I'm guilty of this. I've done this multiple times. I'm not proud of it. Uh, I, I just feel like it's so much easier just to like stop texting or like communicating with the girl you're not interested with anymore than just saying, hey, I'm sorry, I'm not interested anymore. I don't know why it's like that or why males are like that or why we're wired to think like that. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know why. I think at this point, 2020 is where guys should stop ghosting girls and just like be straight up with them and be complete, transparent, honest about how they're feeling about that person in particular. So. Uh, why do you guys do it? I don't know. We're just stupid, I guess. What qualities make you unattractive to girls? Um, I think a lot of guys say too much makeup, but I don't really care that much. I feel like when girls put too much makeup on, or like they try very hard, it's just like they're just trying to make, they're just trying to impress the guy. They're just trying to make sure they look good for the guy. So I think that's very flattering and just like very um, considerate of them, I guess. If that makes any sense, but. I don't think too much makeup is a turn off to be honest. I just feel like they're just putting in effort to look good for you and I definitely appreciate that effort, okay? So what qualities make you unattractive? So of the, quali the qualities that make them unattractive is definitely too clingy, um, high maintenance, turn-ons. Um, I just feel like a girl that knows how to dress, uh, we can vibe very well. You can, you know, just, you're down to earth. Um, you just you just super chill with this vibe, man. That's that's definitely three big turn-ons for me, in my opinion. What do you notice in the girl first? I think their smile and their the way they dress, 100%. I'm not sure I can speak on for many people, but I, that's my two big t things I notice first: the way they dress and their their smile, and just the way they carry themselves in general, how they just walk and just like their presence in their room and stuff like that. So. That's what I noticed first, definitely. I'll answer a few more questions and then I'm gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully it's very interesting or intriguing for you girls to be watching and seeing my insight towards these type of questions. Maybe you can learn from something like this. But anyways, what do you think of all those selfie girls post on social media? As long as it's not excessive, I don't really care that much. Like, I feel like if you're confident in yourself, you wanna just show people like you're good looking or whatever, like by all means take selfies. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't care. I don't really, honestly, don't mind it at all. And I think, I, I think it's just a ploy to get likes and just boost your confidence and you boost your, your value of yourself. But I don't really don't care. If you post a lot of selfies on Instagram or whatever, by all means, I don't care. If you guys want me to do a part two, because I feel like I'm just scratching the surface of, with these questions, uh, leave a comment down below. I'll do a part two. I'm more than willing to. Honestly, I think these questions and answers are pretty interesting and uh, really provides a greater insight to why girls think these type of type of ways about guys and this me debunking any myths that arises pretty much okay so basically next question is uh do you guys prefer butt or breast um in my opinion i don't really care about either one but if i had to choose i definitely choose breast because how i look at it is like anyone can go to the gym or any girl can go to the gym and just squat and uh, build their glutes that way. But then when it comes to breasts, it's like you're just born with what you have, unless you go through surgery. So, all right, I'm gonna ask you the last question right here. And the last question is, is it important to have a big breast or big butt? Uh, no, in my opinion, I don't think that at all. But I feel, I know where they're coming from. I know why girls think that way or brainwash to think that way. We live in a social media era where, you know, where these Instagram models and Instagram girls are just post a lot of their, their physical traits the butts, the breasts, or whatever, and girls are just brainwashed or doctrinated in the fact that, yo, know, I need those things, otherwise the girl, uh, guys will not find me attractive. But in my humble opinion, like, if I think you're cute based off your facial features and we vibe, I don't care about those type of things. If you do have it, it's a definitely a plus, a definitely positive, but in my, I don't really care. I think a lot of guys can attest to this unless you're just like a, you're just like a savage. Like, if you're just a normal guy like me, like me I don't think you really care about those type of things in my opinion. It's cool if you have it, if you don't, I don't really care. As long as I like you, we vibe in, I like your personality, it's all that matters at the end of the day. So that's gonna be the video for today. Hopefully you girls learned something today, some of you guys learned something today. I want to, in 2020, I want to vlog a bit more, but I like to make these type of videos. I think I can provide some insight towards these type of things. So drop a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, 
and uh, we'll see you in the next one and call out and then next video we're gonna do it's gonna be a vlog so see you guys then peace